Welcome back everybody. We got ourselves another fire ant nest here. We're gonna cast it some molten aluminum. Looks like it'll be a pretty nice one. You gotta make sure you always, always preheat your metal before you put it in your furnace. Uh, metal can have a little bit of moisture hidden on it. And if that moisture goes into a pool of molten uh, aluminum or whatever you're melting, it will uh, bubble and it can even explode. Uh, sending molten aluminum at worst just all over the inside of your furnace, messing it up, or it could come out and get in your eye, all over your face, whatnot. So, you gotta be really careful of that. I always preheat my metal and I always preheat my molds. Those are the two biggest things. And I'm also really careful about, since I live in Florida, it rains all the time here, uh, waiting, uh, like at least, I wait five days after heavy rain until the ground dry up. Uh, or else the ground can explode on you too, which I've had happen a couple of times. And I've just gotten lucky. Um, so now I, I give it five days. Five days seems about good for the type of soil I've got. So just be really careful if you're doing this sort of stuff. Here's how I uh, preheat my molds. I just stack them right outside the exhaust. The exhaust does a really good job of heating them up. And I just do this for a couple minutes, take them off, put them back down. That drives off all the moisture in them. All right, so here I'm gonna scoop all this dross off the top. This dross is just basically aluminum oxide, uh, oil, dirt that can't burn. Just floats to the surface since it's lighter than the aluminum. And then I usually try to remelt this stuff like at least once because it does pick up a little bit of good aluminum with it as you bring it out. But that's basically all you got, and I'm gonna get down in the bottom here. Try to knock loose some stuff that might be down there. Alright. And then one last little scoop. That's good. Alright, now we're gonna pour. Yep, so that's, that was a small explosion. All right, I think I'll melt down a little bit more metal. Since it exploded, it creates a small cavity in there. So it creates more space for that metal to fill up. So it, I probably would have been fine just with one melt, but since it exploded, now I gotta melt down a little bit more metal, top it off, finish up that base, make the base look real nice. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I didn't preheat this metal just because there's no molten aluminum down there. So I'm really not too worried about it messing anything up. Um, so now I'm gonna kick the furnace back on.
now I'm gonna quickly try and get the base cleaned up, make it all even before it solidifies up. All right, that's gonna have to do. Then let everything solidify. Then I'll cool the rest of the way down with a hose. Um, and then we'll dig her up. All right, so now I'm gonna spray some water on it, cool it down the rest of the way. All right, so here, I'm gonna go start digging it up. Just got a little um, trench shovel here. Uh, dig out the first part of the hole. Then I'm gonna use a uh, post hole digger uh, and dig out uh, a hole about over here the rest of the way, and then work my way slowly towards the casting itself. All right, so I've been digging out a little bit, cleaning off of the hose. Um, this is unusual. Looks like we got an offshoot. This was a sort of dead fire at nest, and I'm thinking that they connected up. Uh, I really hope it doesn't keep going too far that way. Um, but it looks like it goes down pretty good on this one as well. So we'll keep at it, keep updating you. All right, so all that's holding in now is just this one little root. Go ahead and cut it off here. All right, and then where's all this? Uh, all right, there it is. A little lopsided, but looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and clean it off the rest of the way. I'm gonna take it over to the table, clean it up the rest of the way. So something neat I kind of want to show off is this is the aftermath of that explosion. Um, you see how over here it's all rough textured. Uh, it looks really like it, there's a little sand particles just embedded into the aluminum basically over here. And then over here, this is where more normal looking sort of casting. Uh, this is where the explosion wasn't. So this is 
basically the explosion just forces the aluminum into the sand, capturing little dirt sand particles. Gives it this sort of uh, weird rough looking texture. And right, so you can see how powerful that explosion kind of was. It just caused that entire side over here to embed itself in.